Hey, all you crazy people. So, uh, subject today is going to be on urine. Urine as fertilizer. Yes, that's right. Urine as fertilizer. Urine has been used as fertilizer in agriculture for probably thousands of years. And all the recent studies are showing that uh, the body will break down everything in your body body will excrete all the minerals uh, through your urine and urine is very high in nitrogen it's very high in potassium and phosphorus which is your NPK and it's probably the most natural form of the NPK that's available to plants and much better than chemical fertilizers and it's already pretty much natural and broken down so it goes right to the plant you can put it Right on your plants, of course, you saw me dilute it. I would recommend eight to 12 to one uh, dilution. Um, I remember over here in my courtyard, my grass, my dog will come out here and use that and go to the bathroom and you'll find these yellow spots where they go to the bathroom. That's where I water it in because uh, in that concentrated form, it's very acidic and it will burn. But uh, I usually just find those yellow spots and give it a deep water and it greens right back up because it'll reduce the acidity and dilute it. And it turns into a fertilizer for the grass. But we're talking about using our urine, collect collecting that and using that as a fertilizer and i've been doing it in my yard ever since i started a couple years ago and i really think it's really helped the the growth of all my plants now i would not put it on something that i'm gonna harvest like if you're gonna like this winter i'll have my lettuce crop i'm not gonna put it on my lettuce and and then harvest it you better wash it really good if you do but while it's growing i'll i'll use it as a fertilizer and a lot of my plants, I'll just use it as like a foliar feed. Um, but all the studies that they've, they've shown that it's uh, very beneficial. Now, if you're taking medications or antibiotics, you don't want to be using it. But I try to stay away from medications and antibiotics, especially because I really believe in having a good gut biology, good gut health, so you can absorb all your nutrients. Um, more and more of a homestead type of uh, health eating habits and the more I grow the more I eat and I'm trying to plant as many things as I can for diversity and uh, fruits and vegetables and, and medicinals and stuff to make teas and and just trying to get as much health as I can from my own yard and reduce what I'm buying at the store because I don't trust what's at the store because it's very uh, dirty as far as pesticides and they use a lot of chemical fertilizers which I don't agree with because they damage the soil. I like to have a organic natural soil. I, built, I believe in building your soil health with all the microorganisms, the bacteria and the fungus in the soil to and to reduce the, the pH in our soil to make our soil more neutral so that all the plants can grow in a neutral, very nutrient rich soil so they can uptake those and then we can eat those and have those for our bodies so we can have nutrient dense bodies. But uh, I think if you use urine, that's a good uh, good fertilizer. So. I know you guys are crazy, but I'm crazy too. So I just wanted to share this with you and give it a try, but make sure you dilute it. I try to do the strongest is a six to one, 12 to one is my normal, but give it a try.